Daughters of the packet and in Boston, she did lay. Wait in there for boys from home. In orders no. come for real boys and then around Cape Horn. Okay, guys, we are leaving the marina today. It's a big day. Before we go, I just want to give the boat a nice bath because, as you can see, She's a bit messy and I want to give a big shout out to small business, family owned, boat cleaning, supplies company. And they sent us a whole big box of goodies to keep this boat and the new cat nice and clean. And honestly, we've never cleaned the boat with anything but a, a deck brush and boat soap before. And now we have this whole boat cleaning supplies, like accessory pack and we're super excited so we can keep this paint job nice and clean. So I'm about to give boat a bath with all of this goodies. time for us to leave here Napa Valley Marina we always feel like it's good to kind of set a realistic date and you can kind of change that a little bit as you move on but try your best to stick to that date and that's where we're at now we stayed an extra day from what we said a month ago and everything is good to move it'll be a good time to test out the boat get both engines running at the same time underway for a few hours and uh, just kind of get into a different um, different atmosphere, a different place, and feel like we're getting on the move a little bit, even while we still have some projects to do. All the important stuff is taken care of, like the really important stuff. We're not quite ready to cruise up the coast out in the ocean yet, but it'll be kind of like a shakedown cruise. So that's what we're doing today. We're leaving Napa Valley Marina. We're heading back out into the bay and then back to Alameda. Instead of going where we originally got this boat, we're gonna go on the other side, the estuary side. Again. And uh, yeah, like I said, it'll be a great test run with both engines, being able to push them a little bit more than we ever have. Not like push them, push them, but get up to cruising speed, how they should be running. I'm gonna just test all the systems and just, yeah, get, get a little bit closer to being on our way. We've had an awesome stay here in Napa Valley. It's a cool spot. It's a really unique spot. We really, try to keep our heads down and just get as much work done as we could in a short amount of time. And I think we accomplished that pretty good. We had a fun little like goodbye party on the back deck of this boat last night. We had a bunch of friends over and stuff. So that was pretty fun. All right. So I'm just checking all the fluids in these engines. Everything looks good. I'm going to add a little bit of transmission fluid into this one. Just looking for a funnel here. Where is the funnel? Let's see if the boat a little watch that. All right, short power is off. I'm ready when you are. You're off me. Okay. Are you on the boat? Yeah.
How's everything going? Pretty good. I was adjusting the shaft seals down there, the packing nut, just to make sure that we get a little bit of water. We don't get the shafts too hot where they come enter the boat. Um, everything is going well, knock on wood. How does it feel to leave the dock? It feels really good to be underway on the water, away from the dock. This is what it's all about. Thank you, Napa Valley Marina and all of our amazing boat neighbors that have spent the last eight months with us. Uh, we thoroughly enjoyed our time there and never in a million years would I have ever thought that we would be working on a boat in the middle of Napa Valley, but it was awesome. And now it's time to cruise. We're not going very far today. We're only going to another marina closer to like the Bay Area. Alameda, not the one we brought the boat from, but um, we're going to go there. We still have to sell the van and we have to get our navigation lights working and we got to get an AIS and a radar mounted and then we'll anchor a little bit in the bay and then we'll get be ready to wait for weather to hit home. Okay, so obviously we've never been very good at planning and we just assumed there would be a dock space available somewhere on the island of Alameda once we left Napa Valley. It was just like for a week so we can get the lights and the radar up and just have a place to put the car. Yeah, just called like five places and <laughs> there aren't very many options. We refused to call that one back um, that kicked us out. So we limited ourselves a little bit, but one did just say they had a spot for us, but we needed recent photos to send them and we needed like a certain number of liability insurance which is so funny so like that video a couple videos ago that we told you painting the hull was like our priority so it opened up more options for marinas like there's another example literally they wouldn't let us in if they didn't like the look of our boat but luckily now we have nice pretty photos are you surprised that they even for a transient yeah like insurance, sure, like a lot of marinas require insurance. Yeah, but pictures of the boat, it just goes to show you. I mean, they do it for a reason. They require that for a reason. I'm sure they've run into instances where they get like derelict looking boats in there. Um, and then they probably can't kick them out because especially in California, that's just kind of how it is. If you live on your boat, it's hard to, I don't know. I get it both sides, oh, but it is fun. Here. I just had to end his whatever he was telling you because I got a phone call and it was Marina calling back and they needed to ask even more questions and they're like, where are you coming from? How long have you been there? Uh, what was the name of the Marina? And I honestly, I think they're gonna call them and like check on us, it's so funny. I hope they give us a good recommendation. Uh, and she's like, what were you doing in the boatyard? Like lots of questions. <laughs> We were getting the boat ready to look nice, so we didn't have this issue, lady. The complications of trying to find a slip in California is a little ridiculous. <laughs> but we'll find one. Mare Island Bridge, Mare Island Bridge, southbound motor vessel, Mountain Mist. Hey, Mayor Island, just requesting your next opening, please. It's getting a little rolly. No, I think it's stable with like lips or something. <laughs> Reason number 999 why I hate coffee. Okay, it's pretty rough. <laughs> uh, okay, 
Okay, sorry, kind of stopped filming after the coffee pot broke and there was glass everywhere and I was getting seasick picking up coffee when it was really rough and rolling. But we have arrived. How'd it go? Billy is a champ under pressure. What happened up there? He was like coming in perfectly and then like. The shifting throttle wasn't shifting or it was shifting really funny for some reason. Up top. Up top, yeah. But not down below, so I had to like run down below and, and then I had to like reposition and redock from down below. And it's hard to see down here in tight quarters. But I don't know, we'll figure it out. I think it's probably something pretty simple. Maybe just a setting, like a small adjustment in the throttle body on the cable. We are up. And we're officially in our new neighborhood for the next, I don't know, couple of days. Can you hit the grill? <laughs> Sierra's giving the boot. Quick little rinse. We got some nice salty spray on it for the first time in months. Actually, on our way up to Napa, we probably didn't even get any salty spray. So probably the first time in like seven years that this boat's got some salty spray. Successful sea trial. What time is it? Seven. No. Burger time? No. <laughs> That's a better answer. Got some burgers and some mushrooms. Ta da! Did you rip one? <laughs> that was my leg. Yeah, right. Good try though. Look at my fancy wow. plate. Look at us, so fancy. a little cold, but we're going to eat up top anyways. If I can fit through the door. Cheers. We made it with no incidences. Cheers. <laughs> so tasty. Mm. I gotta say, one of my pet peeves with grills is like, if they just don't, don't get hot enough, and this thing's new and it's got all these cool features and stuff like that but the most important thing is that it gets hot enough and i'm proud to say that that grill gets hot enough <laughs> okay now that we're here what do we have to do before we go to washington well here's some stuff on my list we got to figure out what's wrong with the autopilot it was working when we went up to napa it wasn't working today fix autopilot we have to install our Vesper Cortex VHF AIS unit. Are we doing radar? Our good friends, they gave us their old radar unit, but we don't have like the wires or the cables. And the question is, are we willing to go up to Washington from California with just an AIS VHF? Certainly radar? not ideal. Like everything else being equal, of course you want, right? You want everything you can have. So of course we want radar, even if it's an older unit. I can't believe I haven't done it yet, but I have to look up the model and see if I can even get the cables necessary. So that'll be the first step before we even decide anything. Another thing to note is we, obviously the areas we've been sailing haven't been like foggy areas, but we had radar on adrenaline and we never used it, like not once, not once in four years. Yeah. So like, that's why we're like, Ugh. like that's why we went for the expense, the nice new uh, AIS VHF. So I guess maybe we probably would have used it on adrenaline if the screen wasn't fading and if it was like a newer unit that was useful. But yeah, we just never had it before, never used it on adrenaline. So radar is gonna go on here, but if we can't get the wires, then we can't get the wires, and we don't have money to buy a brand new one. So, but thank you, John, so much for giving us this unit. He gave us a bunch of electronics, but we'll forward it all to the next person who could hopefully use it. 
but hopefully we can find the wires. We already replaced the starboard exhaust hose. We gotta replace the port side exhaust hose. Is that hose. a must before we leave? Yeah, yeah, yes. I'm gonna put that as a yes. It should go much smoother than the other side. Oh, lights. Yeah, have lights. lights. There's just a lot of little things like that. We don't even have the generator bolted down yet. We don't need it hooked up necessarily, but I have to bolt it down. And I just ordered some stainless bolts for it. Change fuel filters. So we wanna be ready for weather, waiting on weather in about 10 days. Oh, we could do that. You think? We have to get our dinghy going too. Oh, dinghy. Cell van. You think we can do all of this in 10 days? Yep. <laughs> I guess we got a lot to do. <laughs> 10 day countdown. Ready? Go. <laughs>